All right. Looks is this is this the Heliquary? Oh, there's no way. There's no way. Hello, and welcome to another Diablo Immortal video where today I'm going to be talking to bartender Bailey, picking up a shadow contract and challenging myself, seeing if I could pull in a legendary somewhere on this one shadow contract. I'm going to be hitting every mob that I can find on this journey with hopes, fingers crossed, that I could find a legendary. Looks like I have a bunch of contracts to grab. We're going to choose this one right here, and we are going to accept the contract. Instantly, I'm going to navigate myself over there, and we're going to hope that we go somewhere good. I yet don't know where I'm going. So this video is kind of like a challenging to see what will happen. By the way, if you want to see more Diablo Immortal videos right now, go down to the comment section below and type in more Diablo Immortal. All right, so we have to talk to the Rune Master here. We're going to cut through the actual discussion and uh, we're going to follow the tracks. We're going to go exactly, well, wherever it is we need to go. I need to do some upgrading. We're sitting at, sitting at Paragon level 16 right now. So we want to get something, uh, well, we want to get a little bit higher. I don't think that's going to happen from one shadow contract. It would have to be the luckiest shadow contract of all time. And let's see what we have right here. What is the contract of the day? Collect the runic silver from the Forgotten Tower. Looks like we have to run a rift in the Forgotten Tower. And along the way, I have not seen any mobs. Not blue. Ooh, what is this? Uh, you know we got to go into the underground lair. It's a hidden lair. You know I'm going on into it, so let's go in there right now. And I start a little bit late, but we're going to come on in here. I love this underground lair. Whenever something pops up like this that is hidden, you know I'm going to go into it because you never know what you're going to find. Looks like we got some enemies up here. We're going to just use some of our skills. Should be pretty easy to progress on through here. We'll use some health as well. Look at that. We picked up a monster essence. That's one out of ten. And what do we have to do? Kill Bloodsworn attackers. That's what we got that uh, that chest for. We have to kill the Lair Guardian. So we're going to run on through here. You know, finding hidden lairs like this, they increase my odds of finding a legendary along the way. Here we go. There is a chest, and we're going to grab it. We're going to use three of our four skills right now off the bat. No hands even needed. We will crush anyone that comes near us. Then we'll, we'll beat these guys up a little bit as well. Oh, we got more coming on over here. We're going to use our draw and quarter there we go cleaning up all that mess and now we're gonna go back we're gonna open up this chest all right no legendary still but do you really expect a legendary this early in the video i guess it could happen but it's not very likely we gotta do more challenges like this more regularly now what is this this isn't what is this uh uh teleport to leave the lair no thank you we're not gonna be leaving we're gonna be going deeper into it Gonna drop the falling sword right there. Use the skill. There we go. You know, I do like to utilize my skills rather than just hold them and hold them and hold them. I like to use them just to, uh, oh, what is this? Ooh, what was that? That's cool. Fire mechanism. Does it do anything? I guess it sets a fire on the ground. All right, here we go with the guardian. We're gonna use some skills right here. Pop on our drawing quarter, you know, it's been a while since we've actually rolled with a with the ultimate. We haven't had our ultimate in a while. Wouldn't mind grabbing that soon. We're going to go with Falling Sword right here. Come on now. Not even needing to use any help. Literally just standing in front of the enemy and attacking. Straight up attacking. Taking her down. Looks like we got this lair done. No legendaries popped up. Nothing has arisen. We've completed the level. Killing the Bloodsworn. Good. Good kill the we did it all we literally did it all so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna run down here we're gonna go to the exit because this is the way out hence naming it the exit all right so we're back on track following footsteps again we're moving to what was it the what was it the hidden uh, forgotten tower that's right heading over towards that forgotten tower which is going to be a rift for us to run or a dungeon I'm gonna jump on my horseback. Notice I'm not seeing any orange. Oh, we got some blues right here. There we go. We're gonna go after these blues yet, of course. These are the things that could possibly drop legendaries. We did just get ourselves another monster essence. That's two out of 10. Um, And some experience globes, but no legendaries dropping yet. Odds of me actually picking up a legendary inside of this video are slim. 
What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Will your boy get lucky enough to pull on a legendary, running one shadow contract, and going to every hidden lair along the way inside of this video? All right, so we got to go in through here and grab the silver. So we're going to go over here, open up this wall. You know, we have run this quite quite a lot of times. This, this dungeon has been run time and time again. So much that I can say that I'm confident in conquering it. To the point where I don't even need to really go after any of the monster essence. But now there is a chest over here. We won't ignore it this time because we are trying to do everything and grab everything that we can. So let's go over. There's a small chest over here. You never know when you're going to find something lucky in it. Where is it? Right around this corner. It's actually been a while since we've gone this way because it's a dead end. But it does have this chest. And it just gave me gold. Nothing crazy. Let's take all these guys out. We have our bombardment coming down from above. Utilized in the uh, drawn quarter skill. This corpse gave me a little bit of gold too. Nothing more. So let's go down and, uh, and have our first battle. Wait, is there another chest back here? I believe there is something back. There is a chest. Your boy is going to tell you where everything is inside of Diablo Immortal. So when it's out of the closed alpha, as it's in right now, and it's actually in full global release, you will know where to go. You will know how to enhance your game to the next level. And you will be the best Diablo Immortal player on your tablet. You like how I did that? All right, here we go. Looks like our battle is to be had, so we're gonna go. Come on now, let's get one strike. Boom, here we are. Pop this in the middle, literally killing everything. I'm gonna pop this right here. Uh, I should, uh, uh, I used, I I messed up. I, I exited drawn quarter because I was using the um, other skill. What was it called again? Holy banner, which is obviously modified. It's a modified holy banner. I'm gonna take this down. Yeah, we go, we'll take that XP, grab all these things. So far, I see no legendary beams of light, which means no legendaries yet, but it's still young. The shadow contract is still, you remember, do your shadow contracts, don't stop, don't forget, contribute to being a shadow inside Diablo Immortal, which is now something that I enjoy more than being an immortal, just saying. All right, we gotta kill Bloodsworn, so we're gonna go here. Notice in the top left-hand side, we've done this before, we have to kill 10 of these, and then that's going to enhance. Uh, there's going to be more requirements. And if you get this done, you are then able to get an extra five chests when you defeat the Countess. So notice right now, we have to get 15 more of them. So let's come over here, hop on the horse, take out a bunch of them. There's going to be more coming my way. We're going to plow right through them and straight up the gut. There we go. For any of you that play football, you know exactly what that means. Notice we just got 15 out of 15. We're going to grab this gold and we're going to go. Now we need... I got struck. That never happens. Let's go here. There we go. Take out a few more. We want to get to 20. She'll follow me. Try and like lure them all together like this. And then I'll drop something like this. Holy Banner and Falling Sword. And we'll just take them all out really quickly. Really easily. I don't know that I ever miss getting the extra chests. I'm pretty sure that I get them every single time. It's not that hard. Let's, let's be real. All right. Making my way up. There's more to defeat. Come on. Hey, come. Follow me. I have candy. There we go. Creepy, I know. Sorry. Had to. All right, we'll take them down. Looks like we're at 12 of 25. This door should open momentarily. There's the door. We're going to pop on through it. Put your back into it. Here we go. Falling sword. Consecration. Used. Got it to 20 of 25. Um... That's going to be 24, 25 and 25. Now, is there someone for me to unlock over here? We're going to throw, we're going to drop Holy Banner. Let that do my dirty work. Nope, there's no one there. Oh, I see a mob. We have a mob up there in the dungeon. That's a little weird, isn't it? I wonder what that mob may have for me. Come on. You could all follow me here. Let's go. Everyone come to the mob. Because we're going there. Consecration, Falling Sword, and Drawing Quarter. I don't even need to move. Bombardment is going to come down. We are going to crush these blue demons. And hopefully they're going to give us some reward for doing that. Let's drop, um, what is that? Holy Banner? Nothing, nothing. I mean, we're definitely getting something, but no legendaries. If I say nothing, that really means no legendaries at the end of the day. I need to take down a few more. 
So we'll go here, Consecration. That's 28 of 30. Uh-oh, only 53 seconds. I must do this. How about like this? Drawn Quarter, Falling Sword. We got them all. Bonus five chests. But we have to come over here so we can get this silver. Take the Runic Silver. Take it! Crusader. It's taken. Oh, there's some gold over here too. Boom. Shakalaka. Now it's time to uh, kill the Countess. And you know what? I'm not scared. This is going to be a sad day for her. One of my favorite boss fights in the uh, in the game too, by the way. Fun fact. One, two, three. And I'm going to actually go with Drawn Quarter. Literally dropping everything. All skills. All attack. Drawn Quarter attack. Consecration. Falling Sword. Now they're all coming after me. This is when I want Consecration. Like this. And Falling Sword. Then I could run out of the way because we all know the Countess is going to drop out of the sky into a bloodstained circle on the ground. There she is. And we're going to go like this. Draw and quarter on her again. She does sometimes get me when she's got these bats. These bats can be brutal. I am somehow dodging them. Here we go. Draw and... No, not draw and quarter. Consecration, Falling Sword, and Holy Banner all dropped right now. Not even needing to grab health. We have gotten so strong inside of Diablo Immortal. I'm going to, as, as I say that, let me grab a couple of these. Falling Sword, Consecration, boom, this is going to be the end. This is the end of the Countess. She's dead. Goodbye. Where are my beams of light? They're not here. By the way, you could die after she goes down because the bats still do come up. That's five. And the big one, any legendaries? Any. Do I hear a one? Do I hear two? Do I hear zero? But that is not the end of the Shadow Contract. Because we have to go back to Rune Master Elam. Give him those rewards. And maybe something will pop up then. We're going to see. Because that's our objective for today. Looks like we got something in our in our bag here. What A better leg piece, eh? Is it actually, though? No. I don't find this to be better. I'm not going to put it on. They lie into me. So now we're going to auto-navigate. Remember, Diablo Immortal does not have auto-battle at all, but it will auto-navigate you to places that you've already been. Nowhere along the way will it actually take a strike. You are just going to be running past, if you don't get stuck, some of the enemies. As you're seeing, they're running with me. They want to come for, on, along for the ride. But if I do see purple, blue, orange, yellow heads on the map up above, on this map right here, well, then I will stop. And I will fight them. And I will hopefully get more legendaries. Because you never can get enough. Because even when you have the optimal legendary breakdown, you're going to want... Blue heads! You're going to want more to break them down to get you more rewards. And to upgrade what you already have. So you notice how we just stopped here? Ooh. Ooh. A lot of experience globes. But not any... Look, I love the bones. I love the bones. And I just mentioned how I haven't gotten my super in a while or my ultimate. It's here now. The ultimate is here, ready for me to destroy. But we're gonna navigate back. Keep our eye open for some heads along the way. Oh, what's this? Uh, hello, Flavi. what would you like to do? Looks like we gotta get these guys out of the way. Hmm. Do I have to follow Flavi somewhere? Did we just get a side mission? Reach the, okay, the cultist camp. Let's go there. Come on, Flavi, let's go. He's making me kill all these guys. You, you never know. Maybe I'll get lucky with one of them. I mean, you can get a legendary out of a bone pile if you're lucky enough. Just will you be lucky enough? Okay, there we go. Take that down. Is this what I have? This is what we need to go to. Boom. Oh, oh, yes. What is this? This is, uh... I don't know that I've ever done this before. We may have found a gem here. It may be something that I am not ready to do. Meaning, not strong enough to do. Hello. You want to go down now? How about that? Consecration, Falling Sword. There's no way these guys can handle it. Beautiful. Um, Destroy the Barrier Rune. What is the Barrier Rune? I guess it's this. No, we don't. We want to destroy it. Boom. Destroyed. Cool. 
kill, we'll kill these guys. Oh, well, that's easy. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, we got a bad guy. Hello, bad guy. I like fighting bad guys. They give me good rewards. I do have my ultimate. Remember, I could use that. But we're going to use all of our skills yet again because we just got the uh, replenishment of that. We're going to take this guy down fairly easily. Not very difficult whatsoever. Got him. Nothing for me? Nothing. Will you give me something, Flavi? Yes. Give me something good. I got tricked. It was a piece of smoke or something. So what is this? Enter the Scorched Hellscape. Recommended level 55. I can do that. This, well, I don't know what it is, but we're gonna try it. All right. Looks, is this, is this the Heliquary? Oh, there's no way. There's no way. No way am I gonna be able to take this guy down. No, look at, look at his health, not even being moved. I am, the, the monster difficulty is very high. I'm not even, not even damaging him. No, da I'm stuck in here. No, I should have known. I should have known what I was getting myself into right here. Look at the health bars up top on this enemy. Dropping my skills, going all out ham on his face. Absolutely no movement on the health bar. I had no shot. So we're just gonna back up out of here and say, we'll come back another day. So we're gonna go back to our actual objective and not try and go too far off task where we're gonna get ourselves smoked like we just did. So here we are, Elam about to tune in, delivering the items. This is great, we're gonna give it to him. This was part of our task right here, deliver. There you are, fine sir. He's gonna make me something. What's he gonna make? What am I gonna get? Let's pick it up. It's a trap. I have to go place the trap. Wow, this is a long shadow contract. I'm sorry for those of you along for the ride, but we need to finish this up. What do we have right here? I think I hear thunder. Wait one second. Intervergator Theus. Yeah, give me my task. I wanna complete this thing. All right, we're gonna go do that. We have to set the trap. Navigate, hands off, let's go. It's really just a search for heads. Why do I even call them heads? I don't know. But by the way, if you guys are still watching at this point in the video, uh, thank you. First of all, I appreciate your support and you can give me a hashtag made it down below in the comments section of this video telling me that you've made it this far. Yeah, because I appreciate you guys. Blue, let's go right here, one, two, three. I'm not here, look at this. I'm not even gonna use my hands. Just my skills. I think we got them all. We got almost all of them. That one guy. One little, little like porcupines. They needed one strike. All right. Still no legendaries though, guys. Still no legendaries. It is so hot outside today that they closed my son's school early. I had to pick him up around 12.30. And now there's a thunder and lightning storm going on outside. Let's go hide in this bush. Well, first of all, we have to take these guys out. We'll take them out. Then we'll hide in the bush. Should we grab the empowerment shrine? Okay, hey, let's grab it. Now, let's hide in the bush. They have no idea that I'm here. No idea what's coming. Even though I am kind of blinking in the bush a little bit. I don't know if you guys saw that, but there was a little, little twinkle. Here we go, and you're going down. You guys, you buddy system. Always walk somewhere with a buddy. All right, we're gonna restrain Rowan. Am I doing the right thing now? Escort him, yeah. The one thing about shadow contracts I have to say are I've done some of them before. Like they're not new every time. Still no, come on, why don't you girls, come on over here, come on, here we go. Leading you over here to this batch of, how do I get in there? I think I have to go all, oh, tree fell on me. Let's just, they're being a little annoying. My consecration didn't come down actually, that was weird. 
Defeat, defeat the Immortals. Wait, was that Immortals? Did I just crush the Immortals? There's one more. Come on, dude. You're Immortal. I'm a Shadow. You need to understand that I'm stronger than you. I'm also Echo Gaming. Use Code Echo. If they ever do creator codes inside Diablo yeah, Immortal. You should. Uh, fun fact, you can't get through right there. You have to go all the way around. Because there's a tree in the way. So I do that. I go around. We're escorting Rowan through the wood. But I do want to go to those blue heads as I did promise. What do I Kill the Bloodsworn. Okay, we got to get these guys too. So we'll, we'll kill all these. And like this, like this, and like this. Just a little tap of the attack and we're good to go. Uh, one more to go. It's the captain. Here, captain. Eat this. And the captain shall go down. Look at that health bar. Just down and down. We'll grab our gold and there were those blue heads which i'm gonna i'm gonna go for you know typically this is this is off the beaten path sorry my editor friend i'm sorry but we have to go with these blue heads you thought you were done editing the video right you thought it was the end it never ends this is diablo immortal actually a much longer video than we typically have here on the channel guys so again i do appreciate you all sticking around all right now we got those blue heads still no legendary though what are my odds of picking up a legendary weapon, helmet, or something? There we go. Inside of a shadow contract. Most delayed comment ever. We done yet? Um, return to the... Return to the bartender, Bailey. Let's do it. We're returning. Did we get a legendary? No. No. Do we want a legendary? Yeah. Will we get one next time? I don't know. The last chance we have right here is if the bartender himself will give me a legendary. He should know that he is grateful for me running this contract for him because I am the number one shadow inside of Diablo Immortal. I mean, I do have a cavern named after me inside of the game, the Cavern of Echoes. Here we go, buddy. Are you gonna give me anything good here? Scrap materials, I mean, those are good. Let's see. Um, actually, can I go upgrade anything at the blacksmith? Let's take a let's take a look, see. See if there's anything there that we can do. Alright, so I, I definitely have some stuff to get rid of here, right? We don't need any of these weapons. Salvage all that. But can we upgrade? What I'm really trying to upgrade here is my, my primary weapon issue is i don't have enough of the enchanted dust now i could probably go buy a bunch from the merchant but i don't know i feel like that's kind of a waste we could do some of this but it's just gonna waste some of the dust that i have we need to wait maybe we'll do that in the next video so thank you guys so much for sticking around remember to subscribe if you love diablo immortal and love hanging out with me here and you can always find me over on twitter you did know i was on twitter right have a great day guys and be good